Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? Something wasn't right here Oh baby, baby I shouldn't have let you go And now you're out of sight You show me how you want it to be Tell me baby Cause I need to know now Because my loneliness is killing me I still believe, still believe When I'm not with you I lose my mind Give me a sign Hit me baby one more time Hey, how you doing? Justin here. In this lesson today we are checking out the classic pop song Britney Spears' Hit Me Baby One More Time. Super duper pop song this for beginners. Kind of simple chords, very repetitive chord progression. Uh, sounds really good on acoustic guitar, which I think is the mark of a great pop song. You know, does it does it work? Uh, and while we're on that, the the uh, Travis version, which is a kind of an acoustic guitar uh, one, really fantastic. Go and check it out now. Uh, Fran Healy, when he's singing it, uh, he puts the capo on the second fret, and I've done the same thing because it makes it a little bit easier to sing. Uh, for a guy's voice, I think. So, uh, but if you want to play with the record, you need the capo up on the third fret. So, uh, let's get started here with the chord sequence. Now, the chord sequence is very repetitive most of the way through. Uh, we've got a whole bar of A minor, followed by a whole bar of E, a whole bar of C, half a bar of D minor, half a bar of E. And that's pretty much the sequence for all of the song, all of the verses and the choruses and the pre-choruses. So pretty much everything except the bridge. So that's the first thing that you want to get used to is just getting that chord sequence. One bar of A minor, one bar of E, one bar of C, half a bar of D minor, half a bar of E. Pretty straightforward little sequence. Let me just run that through a bit of a verse and a pre-chorus so you can see how that fits in uh, with the words and stuff. So we're starting on the A minor. Oh, pretty baby, how he was supposed to see The D minor wasn't here A minor, oh, pretty baby, I e should let you see And D minor's out of E, yeah, A minor me how you want it E B Tell me C chord Cause I need to D minor now E B cause A minor loneliness Is E and me And I see I must confess I D minor To E and the bleed Back to A minor When I'm up with you I E my mind Give me a C D minor baby One more E And that's it That's pretty much the whole tune right? So, And you might even get away with just that much at a party Unless people actually know the song properly uh, And they'll be wondering what happened to the bridge Now the bridge involves an F chord now, if you're a beginner guitar player, you can substitute an F major seventh chord at this point. So that's why it's a uh, stage four beginner song, because you can use a little F major seven, whichever version of F major seven you like. Um, note that sometimes when I've been playing this as well, I just kind of noticed on that last little run through, instead of playing a, a regular C chord, I'm actually playing a C with a G bass. And I'm not exactly sure why I'm doing that. Um, must just be something that my ears want to hear it sounding better. But you can definitely play regular C as well as a, C with the G bass if you want. Um, like I said, not really sure why that was happening. Anyway, back to the bridge. Uh, the bridge, A minor. Oh baby, baby, how he was supposed to see. So, so far it's exactly the same. D minor to E, then it goes to F. Oh pretty baby, how G was supposed to D minor. We've got this little F to G must A minor. The man on the E 
is killing me. See, don't you deny not to eat to else that you will be G. Just give me an F, 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 F. D minor, baby, E more time. Oh, that's hard for me to sing that one. It's right up there. Um, so it's very similar. If you've got the song book, obviously, it's really super easy. But uh, I want to explain it so it's not. So it's once through the, the regular sequence. Then it's to F. Baby, I G to let you D minor for a whole bar. Then F to G. I must can A minor that my lonely E. Is killing me, see. Don't you D minor to E to F that you will be G. Don't give me an A, F. D minor, baby, E more time. Now, uh, that's the chords for the whole song. Now, rhythmically, a lot of things you can do here because we're not playing it exactly like the record. That's not the, the kind of the thing that we're doing. So um, I think it sounds best with uh, kind of continuous down strums on the eighth note. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and. And that's kind of it gives it the kind of the most momentum doing it that way, I reckon. Um, if you want to get a little bit more fancy with it, having an accent on beats two and four, which is where you normally get a snare drum hit in a, in a pop or rock song. So you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you can try and get that little hit there, which if you're doing a palm mute, I'm just kind of hitting it in a little bit more. This is something that's a bit more advanced. So I think we get into this into the, in the intermediate course, but having this kind of a, a pick hit, whatever you want to call it, a muted strum, where you get a bit of a, an accent. But you could just do it as an, a heavier accent, a heavier pick. As soon as you've got the, all of those down strums, you can hear that it's really easy, as long as you're keeping your hand moving steady, to add in those little extras. So it's really just a matter of kind of getting that original kind of pulse, that what I'd call a bed, right? That rhythm guitar bed, nice kind of, kind of steady thing going on. And then adding in those little upstrups when you feel like it, you know, that's, there's no proper pattern, if you like, you know, it's, it's free for you to explore a little bit. So uh, that can be nice. If you're doing an intro, I'm just lifting off my second and third fingers, doing a little hammer on. You know, I'm just making it up on the spot, so I don't really have a plan for that bit, as you can probably tell. And you shouldn't either. You can make up your own plan and uh, come up with a little intro for that sort of thing yourself. Just staying on the A minor makes a good intro. If you want to do it like the record, you've always got that. Um, for those who know your power chords or octaves, just doing a little power chordy thing up there works or octaves you know there's lots of ways of approaching this kind of tune there's a couple of ideas for you have fun with that one and uh, I'll see you for another song or lesson very soon take care of yourselves bye bye <laughs>